Hello, Mrs Talkington here. I'm going to show you how to draw the goat and the troll from the story The Three Billy Goats Gruff. We're going to draw the characters on top of the bridge where it is in the story. So I'm going to draw the troll on this side who's protecting the green green grass and the goat on this side. I'm going to start with the goat, the troll's face. That's a funny kind of shape. It's like a square with curved edges on it. So if you just watch slightly wider at the bottom. There we go. And in the middle, his nose is a, is a triangle, but again with curved edges. So go up to the top of the triangle and round. He's got a funny shaped nose. And underneath he's got two little nostrils, but they look a little bit like wheels on a car, half a wheel on a car. There we go, there's his nostrils. What we're going to do is two eyes, very small, and leave a little bit, when you colour it in, leave a little bit white so you can see him looking. Now, he's not a very happy chappy, so we're going to draw his eyebrows going down in the middle. Lots of rectangles, there we go. And his smile, it's not really a smile, he's got some nasty teeth in there, so we're going to do a half a smile, then we're going to draw some zigzags show his nasty teeth inside and then a little curve on the end okay and I'm going to draw he's got some funny hair at the top he hasn't got much hair he's got three hairs sticking out the top now he's got some ears that look a little bit like Shrek that stick out from the side of his head and then we're going to do a curve on the edge there another one on the other side so out we go a bit like Mr Potato Head is sticking out there we are okay and we're going to draw a couple of little freckles on his face. There we go. So that's his face ready. Now we're going to draw his body. Now he's a very round body. So we're going to draw two curves going off the edges for his shoulders. And then we're going to draw another two curves for his tummy. And stop at the bottom of his clothes. We're going to do a zigzag. Again, like that cracked egg. There we go. And show that he's got like a piece of cloth wrapped around him. And draw a curve there. Now we're ready for his hands. These are his arms. We'll draw a shape round here and then draw his fingers. And we'll draw some claws. Some sharp claws. There we go. And then the same on the other side. So we're going to draw that curve shape. Bump round with the fingers. Bring that back up and then some curves for his claws. I'm going to do some more of those spots on his skin. Do another one here. There we go. We'll do one more there. Okay. Right, we're ready for his legs. His legs are spindly, so they're sticky legs and then funny feet. I'm going to draw two lines, two parallel lines going down. When I get to the bottom. I'm going to draw almost like a heart shape and then I'm going to draw some claws on the end maybe here another one two lines then that heart shape and the claws on the end there he is there's our troll not very nice is he he's quite funny looking though now remember he's going to be standing on the bridge with his with his well it's not really his little friend is it the little goat. So his goat has got a funny shaped head. It's a little bit like a midget gem if you've ever eaten one of those. So we're going to draw a straight line, curve up and then round. A bit like an upside down bowl maybe. So I'm going to draw the medium sized goat. So I'm going to draw his head here. So I'm going to go across, up, straight a little bit and then down in a curve. A little bit like an upside down. If you turn it upside down it'll look like a bowl. Now his two ears stick out the side and you must leave some space for the horns. Now his two ears are just like those leaf shapes we've been drawing. A bit like the pig's ears we've drawn as well. They're all very, very similar. Now the horns go up in the middle. So I'm going to draw a curve and then a curve underneath. Over a point and then down. And to make them look like this Cylindrical, I'm going to draw those curvy lines on the top. There we go. Now we're ready for his face. Now I'm going to start with the nose so I know where to put the eyes. So I'm going to put a little upside down arrow, then a straight line, 
and then a little curve. And their eyes, a little bit sad eyes, because they're long oblongs. And leave a little space at the top for the white. And the same the other side. Remember he's sad because he wants to get to the tall, lovely little tall grass on the other side of the hill. And in the middle they've got a little bit of fluffy fur that spikes out on the top. So draw a little zigzag, looks like a firework. Now, don't forget, he's a billy goat gruff, so he's got a little beard underneath. Now we're ready for his tummy. And we're going to draw the body going out the side. So you're going to do a curve here, and then round, this, like a circle shape here on his tail, that leaf shape again. And then his feet, about like his head. So they go out wide, round, and back again, out wide and back again and then for the hooves we're just going to draw some bumps one two three one two three and there he is the billy goat gruff now we need to get the bridge in now you can see that the troll is on this side and the goats on this side so we're going to try and draw a rainbow shape underneath them let's see if i can draw the other half of this rainbow shape Now the bridge is made of bricks, so I'm going to draw lots and lots of rectangles going across my bridge. I'm going to follow that, that rainbow shape that I've drawn to show me where to put my bricks. We'll go the other way. I'll start in the middle so I know where they're all going to fit in. I'm going this way. And the rectangles going over. Now the more bricks you do, the better your bridge is going to look. And then we're going to do the next set of bricks underneath. So they go in between. Because that's how you would build something with bricks. You offset them slightly. Keep going and over the other side okay I'm going to stop there you could keep going if you like now underneath that bridge is some water you could do some wavy water lines that shows that it's going under you could draw some oh now the tall tall grass would be this side wouldn't it because that's where the that's where the billy goats want to go some tall green grass let's draw lots and lots of that because that's on the hill that he wants to go to and this side there's nothing there's no green green grass there's just stones so you draw lots of stones on this side no green, green grass growing at all that side. Maybe you could draw a little fish in the water. Swimming along. Maybe some reeds. We've drawn those reeds before, haven't we? And go by the side of the river. lollipops growing on the side and there's some tall leaves in between there we go and what else can we do on the other side now green green grass is probably some beautiful flowers and maybe some daisies growing or some buttercups what else could be growing maybe some what else have we seen in our walks around some buttercups let's do some buttercups there black shape yellow you can colour them in yellow when you're done and um, what else did we see when we were walking around some red campion so the little tiny red flowers ready pink flowers and there's lots of them all together isn't there at the top very very tall flower so we 
are drawing them all together. There we go. There we are. And there you've made your troll and your goat. You could add, if you wanted to, you could add the baby one at the side. And maybe you could add the big one already on the other side of the bridge if you like. You can have some of that. And I look forward to seeing how you get on with it. Have fun.